Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mesa Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Mesa Troll. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the grooving process to groove on the inside of a part. If you have a T2 or T3 control, there are certain things you need to watch out for, and I will explain it all in the video. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we need to do, push the left button, go to Program, Program File, and we're going to select a work number that's not listed here. We're going to select workpiece number 61. So go back to program, work number 61. And if it's a new program, which it is, push the program button. Mazatrol or EIA? We're going with Mazatrol. Workpiece material is aluminum. Max outside diameter of workpiece is 3.25 inches. Minimum inside diameter of workpiece. This is where the problem is with this control, with the T2 and the T3 control. Basically, if you're ID grooving, you need to put in the ID minimum of whatever workpiece you're working on. Basically, the drill size of the part. If you do not do that, the tool will rapid to the ID minimum on the grooving process, and it will usually crash the machine because grooving processes because the boring bar is usually pretty tight in the hole. So here's our example workpiece we're going to do. We're going to groove down in the bottom of it here. And we're going to drill a hole into it, one inch, 130 in diameter with an insert drill. So this is the ID minimum that I want to put in the program, not zero. And I'll show you in the simulation what happens if we don't put in the ID minimum. So, 1 inch 130. 1.130. Workpiece length is going to be 3 inches long. Max spindle limit is 2000 RPM. Finish allowance on X. This is for the turning tools, not the grooving tools. But because I'm going to run a boring bar in here, I still need to put a grooving or a finish allowance for the turning tools. So 10 thousandths on X and 5 thousandths on Z. And I don't have any stock removal of work face because I am recycling an old part, which is the face grooving process I just did on a previous video. So we can leave this at zero because the face is already cleaned up. Down arrow, gonna push the three arrows, M code, cooling on, down arrow. So now what we need to do is we need to program the insert drill to punch a hole in the part. One inch, 130, and I'm gonna go 200 thousandths past the depth of my groove which is 1.3. So I'm gonna go back 1.5 inches. So I'll get through that. Three arrows, manual program, exchange point of tool, and the gear number we have to put in there. And this is tool number six, or excuse me, tool seven. 1.130.1. We're going to run it at 2,000 RPM and offset 1, G1, minus 1.5, feed rate of 0 0.005, G0, and shape in. So that punched a hole in the part. So now what we need to do is we need to bore it at 1 inch 172 and 1 inch 300 deep. So bar, 
in. Cutting point on X is going to be where we left off, 1.130. Zero, auto, and we're going to rough it with tool 11, offset 1, 11, offset 1. So linear, I'm going to give it an 80 thousandths chamfer on the front, 1.172 and 1.3, linear, 20 thousandths. And 1.322. And figure check. So there's our hole in the part. So we're going to blow this area up, push the store button, scale 0.8. So now we can see the chamfer, the diameter, and the next chamfer at the back. So now let's get into grooving the IV. So what we're going to do is push the groove, push in, and it's going to be, on this example, I want to use groove number zero. And I'll show you why in a minute. Number of grooves, one. Grooving pitch is zero. And the width of the groove is going to be 125. And it has a 45 degree angle here on one side of the groove. So what I'm going to do, in because this controller doesn't have all of the grooving processes the new ones do, I have to do it in two grooves. Groove it here, and then groove it on an angle. So width of the groove is 0.125. Finish allowance. This is invalid for a groove number zero. It'll ignore any number we put in here. Basically, on the groove zero, it just plunges in, comes down, moves over, plunges up, and then in the groove's finished. It doesn't finish it like the groove number one. So, auto. And then it says finishing tool number because the roughing is blank because this is the grooving zero. So tool data, and I'm going to use tool 12, which has 111, 110 thousandths groove depth, but more importantly, the groove width, the width of the groove is 94 thousandths. So when it's doing a 125 groove, it's going to plunge it, move over, and plunge it again. So go back here, type in tool 12, offset 1. Starting corner, on groove 0, it ignores the starting corner. Starting point on X, I want to start at 1 inch 130. And the starting point on Z, with groove number zero, we're programming to the left edge of the groove. Groove number one, we're programming to the right edge of the groove. So in this case, we're programming to the very face at one inch 300. Final point on X. This is an inch and a quarter 12 thread. So 1 inch 250 is the thread diameter, and I want to go past it about 20 thousandths. So 1 inch 270. So 1.270. And the final point on Z is going to be 1.3. Down arrow, right button, figure check. So now we have a square groove in there. But what I want to do 
is I want to 45 the trailing edge of the thread. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to blow this up, scale, point three. So there's the groove. So what I'm going to do is copy this grooving process down here. So push the right button, go process copy, workpiece number 61, process number 4. And then what I'm going to do is on the start point on Z, I'm going to put a question mark in there. And then I'm going to put a taper angle of minus 45 degrees. And I put a negative angle in there because I want it to calculate going up into the material. And that's a negative direction. Going down is positive for an ID process. So right button, push calculate. And it calculated our Z start point of 1.230. Figure check. And now we have a groove coming up here and the groove coming in sideways. Down arrow, end. So now what we want to do is we want to run the tool path. Scale, 0.6, shape. And check continue. Comes in with the insert drill. Go path the race. Grooves it twice. And if you notice, the grooving process stays close to the bore. So now Anything that this machine does on the program check screen is exactly what's going to happen when you push cycle start. So now I want to show you where the problem is with the T2 and the T3 control. So go back to program. Now type in ID minimum zero. This is where the problem happens and this is where the machine will crash and it, I'll show it to you right now. Program check. Check continue. It's doing the bore. Now it's doing the groove and it came all the way down here to X0, came up, grooved it, came all the way down and back. This is where the machine is going to crash. If you see it on the screen, it's going to happen in the machine. So again, on the T2 and the T3 control, on ID grooving, put the ID minimum for the hole diameter that you're going to drill into the workpiece. So 1.130. Program check, toolpath the race, and we can run the graphics again. and verify that what we did fixed it. And it's good to go. So now what we need to do is set the work shift. This is program 60. Now we need to set the work shift for program 61. Z offset teach, zero input. 
auto work number 61 and we're at zero and my grooving tool that I use to touch the face is at zero. I ran the grooving tool on the previous job and I was five tenths off setting the worksheet just because I'm doing it quickly. So that's what you saw earlier. All right, now we're ready to run this part. We're going to back the scale out just a little bit. Pulling on, and we got the work shift called up, program 61, 61, and let's go. done drilling the hole. This is the finished boring bar. And now comes the grooving process. And we're done. And there's our part. Got a hole in it, and there's a groove way down inside. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. In the next video, I'm going to show you the ID threading. Thanks for watching.